Hello and welcome to this short introduction on new app management features in iMazing 2.5. Uh, since iTunes 12.7 was released, we got plenty of feedback from disappointed users who really missed um, the ability to download apps to their computer for safekeeping and to preserve bandwidth, mainly. Uh, well, they asked us if maybe iMazing could help, and turns out we could. So we built this new uh, app management interface, which you can access via the Manage Apps button here. And basically, uh, it's divided in two tabs, the Library tab, which represents um, apps iMazing knows about and has or has not yet downloaded to your computer, and the Device tab, which lists all apps currently installed on the selected device. Uh, the Device tab is pretty handy when you want to make some space on your device. You can sort by size and just multi-select a few apps you don't really need anymore and iMazing will tell you how much space will be freed when you uninstall them. I won't uninstall them now, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, back to the library tab. Um, this doesn't list all of your apps because iMazing doesn't have access to your list of purchases. So it will list um, all the apps iMazing has seen on your devices, including deleted apps in some cases. Uh, basically, you can just select an app and click Install to Device. You can also multi-select, and iMazing will install the, the apps in question. Um, here you have a status icon letting you know if the app is already installed or not, and a download icon letting you know if the app has been downloaded to your library or if it's just uh, uh, available for download. A VLC here, for example, is available for download. Let's download it right now. Click on the cloud and iMazing will initiate a download. Uh, we're not hacking anything. You need to have already acquired the app in question with the Apple ID listed here. Uh, you can change Apple ID here, sign out, sign back in, and um, you can just download any apps which you have the right to download, uh, just like you would uh, with iTunes before iTunes dropped these features. Um, now, Another really, really handy thing is that if iMazing doesn't know about a particular app which you're sure you've already uh, acquired, you can simply click on Add from App Store here and search for the app. For example, ah, maybe I purchased Angry Birds Rio with that account. I'm not really sure. Um, let's find out. OK. Download. Uh, no, turns out I haven't purchased it, so iMazing won't let me download it. If I had purchased it, uh, it would then just appear in uh, my library. Um, then, in all our views, we do our best to support um, every kind of sorting and filtering. So you can sort by name, you can sort by installation status, you can sort by size, and you can sort by download status. Um, then we have quite a few advanced actions. All, all features, app management features, which were in iMazing before, are still accessible through this wizard. I encourage you to take a look and to click on that button here for uh, extra actions. We really hope you're going to enjoy these uh, app management features, and uh, they're actually available even if you haven't purchased an iMazing license. Uh, this is part of our free trial. It's unlimited. You can download, install um, as many apps as you want to as many devices. Uh, so do tell your friends about it, because it's just one of these things where we don't feel like uh, making our users pay. Uh, simply because iTunes used to do it for free and, uh, and it's something also Apple may block us from doing at some point in the future. We certainly hope they won't, but uh, we never know. So it's available, it's there, it's free, it's an iMazing 2.5 Mac version and uh, we're working on the Windows version now. Hopefully we'll release that very soon. Uh, that's all for now and uh, do get in touch. Um, via the usual feedback channels. We'd love to hear your feedback on what we've uh, come up with. Have a great day and bye-bye.